our assignments for the class is to create a STEAM project based on a lecture. It was inspired by Dr. Deborah Reinhardt's presentation on waste management. In these talks, I always want to find something that I connect with personally, and that really helps me get attached to what the topic is and also how I can make a piece that reflects that research. The artist and the scientist, or the artist and the student, you know, researcher in science or math are working together to create art. As an artist, I have the internal and emotional aspects of my paintings and where that comes from, but then having the science behind it, it actually opened up my art world even more. Definitely it opens up the mind to all the artists for different ideas, different concepts. So for this, I tried to focus on um, products that I knew had ingredients that are banned in other countries. The tubing is actually filled with Gatorade and Alfredo sauce. I think there's that visual element of like, wow, this, this actually does affect us and I can see it. I meant to first do a painting of um, a self-portrait of me, you know, smoking a cigarette. But then at the same time I thought that, I threw away a cigarette carton and I was thinking, why not use these materials that I throw away and recycle them into a mosaic. The piece of wood was found in the garbage and we just wanted to use that as a platform. We kind of just collaborated and came up with symbols of beauty as defined in, in nature and it's scientifically proven. You can see it in sunflowers, even the human body. So I thought, you know, why can't I just paint something that'll humble the custodians who, who does come in here? It's an industry, waste management, and it is built of people and the reminder of that, you know, I thought that was important. And they were very excited about it. They're like, oh, you have to pay for model fees for us now. For my first show, I wanted to obviously make a pretty big impression if possible, so that's why I got the tire sculpture here. A lot of times, at least for us artists, you know, whenever we make something, we're expecting it to be viewed by people who are interested in art, you know? We put our art in galleries and people who are interested in art come. But now, since the STEAM, we got a whole nother crowd of people who are interested in science coming to view things. I think art is all about the conversation, like the conversation of the artist with the viewer and how effectively you pass on the message that you want to. So I think people who are either primarily visual artists or they're into the science or they're into the facts, they can see the collaboration between the two and I think it'll, it'll hit everyone. The way the creative process is, is so much like the scientific process. Like we go through trying to figure out a solution to a problem and we discuss ways to make it better and then we have our final outcome which could fail or succeed. The most interesting conversations that I've sat in on and critiques are with the science people. Once the science crowd, if you will, will see some of the stuff, they'll have a lot of questions and in turn we'll have a lot of questions too because this assignment was completely different than anything we usually do. It's about, about as much work I would say. I used to be an engineering major so it's different fields of creativity but it's definitely equally difficult. 